Love isn't a feeling. Mm. Love is a commitment. Mm. You know, like the thing Pastor said, it's really getting to me. Like I'm thinking about it. You know, the Holy Spirit told me, you know, sometimes that you can't have every woman to yourself. Yeah. Like once you're in a relationship and you're a man, you can't have, you can't, like you can't date every woman. Yeah. Because you just decided to date this person, you're on the right track. Because you just decided to date this person. And then when you start dating this person, then like every possible other beautiful girl comes into the picture. I told you, yeah, you know. And then you're not question, you're not careful questioning yourself. You do make the right choice. You do the all that yeah. come to, come to play. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, hey, I was thinking about it, thinking about it, and the spirit of God just told me that. date every woman in this world. No, how many times would you even how have sex? You, exactly. How many times would you date every woman in this world? How many women can you even date? Because the women are plenty. Different types, different colors, different shapes, different different whatever. <laughs> but you know the thing, the question that pastor asked really like is getting to me. You know, um, I was on, I don't know if it's TikTok for real. I'm just like the one on Instagram. And then we also yeah. And then I saw a video of a married woman mm. and um, her husband. Yeah. I think they are married for 35 to 90 years, I would say. 90 years? Yeah. They are really grown. And they were saying that love isn't a feeling, mm. love is a commitment. Mm. So, if because love is a commitment, you are committing yourself to one person. That yeah. is. You are foreseeing, is it foreseeing? Yeah, like looking to the future. Looking to the future, yes. But um, look, you are foreseeing with one man, like, is it correct? Yeah, yeah. one man. How your life will turn out with one man? With one man. Like so, for, yes. And then you are closing blind eyes to every possible woman. Every possible woman and man. You are living with this man. No matter how bad the person is, because we are all not perfect. We all have flaws. You know, like, I, just, like just, just like the question the pastor asked, right? Are you sure you want to be with this person? Mm -hmm. Like, how sure are you, basically? Yeah. Because there are a lot of women out there. So it's got to be thinking. I tell you, because <laughs> you are living all oh. the life that you li you have, how you, you are, how you you live your life, how you take care of yourself. To go in for another person, doing all, or to be with somebody, to be with someone, like the and then what you used to do has to be balanced with what that person to used to do. You know, it's crazy. And you know, really, like what was really, it what was really God. making me think. <laughs> it's like the moment you enter into a relationship, you have to. It's like a chapter or a book mm -hmm. you are reading and you have to close that chapter of every possible option, every possible feeling, every every possible perspective that you have about whatever human beings are, uh, relationship and all of that. that. Like that's what really I'm thinking about. Like you have to close every that chapter, like you have to close it and burn that <laughs> chapter away if possible. Like it's like you have to deny everything. Just going for that one person it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Even in your normal relationship, you can imagine what you go through. Yeah. And then marriage. <sighs> People will say it takes a matured person to be married, but I'm not saying it to be matured. It takes God because yeah. no matter how matured you are, there are some mistakes you would do. Yeah. Even though it takes a matured person, but it takes God. Yeah. I mean, it's not just like one side thing. It's it's it's, it's a combined thing. Maturity, God, love, love basically and, everything. And, and and one thing is I'm um, making making up your mind that see this structure. Right? Making up your mind that like you're changing, like you, you guys are part practically doing this particular thing mm. to each other like if you are paying deaf ears to quarrel 
a form of agenda. If you make up your mind, you know, what it was because of the world's agenda. They were like, if you made up your mind, you are not going to do this kind of thing. That no matter the quarrels, you still love your partner, you still care, you still. Charlie! Yeah. You know, Steve Harvey said, Steve Harvey said, he and the wife, like when they were, they, they were dating on and getting married, they decided that. Egg, 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 egg. Can we take this one? Yeah. Don't forget, egg and pepper, mommy, why? Egg and pepper. We are talking about love because we say God is love mm. and we believe in God and we love we love God yeah. and we say we are going to get married or we are going to be with a partner so we are in, like in love with the person meaning that oh pick a third I'm driving I'll call you back hello mommy good morning if I do your thing Okay. Hey, Kemi, Kemi. Hey, hey, drive me, hey, drive me, you know, like it, hey, park it back up. Hey, one slash of you. <laughs> hey, I'm wondering, hey, come on. Maybe you can watch it, but I'll watch on you. Maybe soon, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow we don't know. That we don't know. Okay? Uh, can't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll watch out. We can't go watch out. Just love and all and you are in love with somebody you are slapping the person you should ask yourself when you do sin does god open the head for you to hey, you know something you know something that, that that hit me yesterday you know something that hit me yesterday no. <laughs> ta, 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 la, you know that hit me yesterday no. you know this thing with uh before married sex mm -hmm. and then Let's say they take pills or they do abortion. Yeah. Like, there's no way we spend something in my head really like, if you really love this person, I like, would you let the person go through pain? I tell you. Like, if you, if you go, if you do the abortion or you take the pill just to prevent um, whichever pregnancy you don't want to prevent. That really got me yesterday. Yeah.